In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on feminist theory by going over the glass ceiling and the glass escalator. The glass ceiling is an invisible psychological, social, or organizational barrier that keeps able and ambitious individuals, especially women and minorities, from reaching higher positions in hierarchical organizations. This is often used in feminist theory to describe women that faced obstacles that prevent them from receiving promotions, especially to executive positions. If you think about most of the large companies in the world, you'll realize that most of the executive positions are held by men and very few women hold those positions. This idea of the glass ceiling applies not only to women, but also to minorities. This means that minorities also encounter obstacles preventing them from receiving promotions to higher positions. And if you think about it, if this applies to women and to minorities, then it's unfortunately true that minority women usually have the most difficult time with this. I also want to mention that this effect cannot be explained by job qualifications or the proportions of each gender or race in that career path. So if you think about job qualifications, some people might think, well, maybe there are more men than women in executive positions because men are more qualified. Well, that's just not true. It's been shown repeatedly that women that are more qualified or equally qualified to their male counterparts are denied promotions. And for the second part of the proportions, we can consider the example of, let's say, engineers. 70% of engineers are male and 30% of engineers are female. Based on the differences in the number of male and female engineers, you would expect there to be more executive positions held by men than by women. That is true. However, you would still expect women to hold 30% of the executive positions. And that's just not the case. Women hold far fewer than 30% of the executive positions in engineering firms. All right, so that's the glass ceiling. Let's now go over the glass escalator. The glass escalator refers to how heterosexual white men that enter professions dominated by women are given more opportunities for career advancement than women in the same field. This is often applied to teachers, nurses, librarians, and social workers, all careers that are dominated by women. As a specific example, we can consider teachers in the United States. About 77% of teachers in the U.S. are female and 23% are male. However, if you look at the principles a leadership position, you'll find that it's about 50% male and 50% female. So essentially, men are representing a disproportional percentage of principles in the U.S. Now, something to note here is that this occurs even if the men are not actively seeking advancement. It's been shown that these men will receive higher wages and are promoted more quickly even when they have little desire for advancement. And finally, I also want to mention that this is specifically for men in the majority, the heterosexual white men. It has also been shown that minority men do not receive the same benefits as men in the majority. Okay, so that's the glass escalator as well as the glass ceiling.